Now, you know, the Dems are trying to paint Rush Limbaugh as the de facto head, which raises one important question to me is, I don't know what de facto means. And do you agree with this, uh, what they're saying? Well, maybe that article you were reading from the Vatican was actually in Latin, not Italian. <laughs> yeah, that, that could be right. <laughs> I was asked the question on, on, a, on a cable show, obviously of inferior quality to yours, which yeah. is really saying a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I was asked, you know, how do you feel about being attacked for listening to Rush? And I said, who doesn't love Canadian power rock trios? Yeah, that is true. That is true. I, I, I did not know that big in 2112 or moving pictures was somehow in, in, in impugning my motives as a Republican politician. Well, I'm not a fan of prog rock, so I would say it does. Well, I could have brought up Triumph, but the reporter would have been completely confused. <laughs> that is true. Speaking of which, last question, how's your band, uh, Second Amendment? How's it going? Do you play a lot? Oh, not so much anymore. Yeah. We have a lot of work to do, and 60% of our band left. It's not like we're going to be on VH1 behind the scenes. We didn't do enough drugs. We lost our ability to fit in spandex, and half of us went bald. <laughs> that is so sad. But we have a lovely picture of you playing the guitar behind your neck, which is kind of impressive. Well, I had a blogger complain that I was playing an A chord. That was no big deal. The reality is, for that genius, that I was playing the lead to Freebird behind my head at the White House, I was actually picking off on a, on a G. Oh, interesting. <laughs> well done. Well, sir, that we sounds got... worse than it is. Actually. Yeah. Well, Congressman, we got to roll. Thank you so much. Please come back. We'll have you on for the whole hour and talk about all sorts of things. Congressman, uh, see you soon. And do you have a comment on what you're seeing? You